Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable all of the juries of speech, international, Quranic, science, and technology Olympiad 2024, and all my beloved friends. First of all, let us offer our praise and gratitude for the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The God who has created the universe and is content so that humans can think about the power of their God. Secondly, may peace always be given to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Rasulullah with the best morals has brought human from the Jahiliyyah era to the Islamic era. Ladies and gentlemen, Quran and science, which oftentimes are separated by people, are actually close related. The Quran, as the holy book of Muslims, not only contain the guidance for worship, but also contains the verses that invite us to think and investigate the universe. Why do I tell you about it? Because in this grateful occasion, I'm Gisela Raisha Talika from Muhammadiyah Ahmad Dahlan Junior High School in Metro City, Lampung Province. Permit me to deliver a speech entitled The Harmony of Quran and Science. Ladies and gentlemen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Anbiya verse 30, and among his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the differences of your language and your colors. Indeed, in that are signs for those of understanding. Ladies and gentlemen, the Quran is not a science book, but many things are in line with science and have been explained by scientists. Many scientists, both Muslim and non-Muslim, acknowledge the validity and accuracy of the Quran in explaining various disciplines even science and technology. The water cycle, the Big Bang Theory, the material that make living things, the emergence of solar panels, and many more. 1,300 verses in the Quran contains information about the universe and the creation of humans. That amount equivalent to one six contents of the Quran. Many had this discuss the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, isn't it amazing? The Quran has given us clues about the universe thousands of years ago, long before humans invented telescopes and microscopes. So, what do the modern scientists think about the Quran? Many of them admit that their scientific discoveries are in line with what has been mentioned in the Quran. And some of them are, the first, Albert Einstein. His famous theory of relativity is in line with the concept of time and space in the Quran. The second, Louis Pasteur. The inventor of vaccine, a knowledge that the fermentation process he discovered had been mentioned in the Quran. The third, Charles Darwin. His theory of evolution finds similarities with the gradual creation of humans in the Quran. The last, Stephen Hawking. This theoretical physicist acknowledged that the universe has a beginning and an end, a concept that has been explained in the Quran. From the above examples, we can see that the Quran and science complement each other. The Quran provides the correct framework for thinking, while science provides empirical evidence. Ladies and gentlemen, as the younger generation, we must have the spirit to continue learning and exploring science. Never stop asking questions and seeking answers. Remember, Science is one way to draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, let us make the Quran our guide in life. Let us make science our profession to face the future. May we all become a generation that is intelligent, faithful, and beneficial to religion, nation, and state. 
Maybe that's all my speech. May what I have delivered be useful in our life, especially for young generation. If you found many mistakes in my speech, please forgive me. And the less I say, nun wal kalami wa maestorun, fasta bikul khairat, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.